All right. Every week I, I generally do a five and six. I'm not going to this week. This week we'll start with number four. Who number you got four. as – well, uh, you know what? I didn't even explain what we're doing. Yeah. This is the playoff predictions. This is our college football playoff predictions after week 11. Uh, yeah. I and mean, it's, it's brought it's, to you by Tunica Travels. <laughs> well, Tunica, Mississippi. It's brought yeah. to you by Tunica, Mississippi. Uh, their website is tunicatravel.com. There you go. They got six awesome sports books down there. Go check them out. Tunicatravel.com has all your information. Going over to winningcureseverything.com as well. We got all your picks, previews, all that kind of stuff. If you're on YouTube, hit subscribe for us. We do this every week. We post up NFL, college football videos. We'll be transitioning into uh, uh, college and NBA basketball um, after the football season. Once football season. Uh, and, we, and we will toss up MMA and whatever else, too. So if this is your first time, welcome in. Whew. All right. Uh, college football playoff predictions after week 11. Who's number four? So this is what I think the committee is going to do, not what yes, I this want. Is, this is I for pre- yeah. our predictions for Selection Sunday. Correct. So December, what is it, second? Sure. Dece- Sunday, December 2nd. This is what we think will happen at 11 Sunday, o'clock right. Central Time. These are the four teams that we believe will be in the playoff. Correct. I got Michigan number four. I got Michigan number my, Mine has not changed in three weeks. Mine has not – well, it has not changed for those three. It changed this week. Okay. I got Michigan four. Who you got three? Well, my three is Notre Dame. I don't think the commi- – I think Clemson's going to win out, and I think Notre Dame's going to win out. And, and, you think and the I committee think the committee Clemson is going to continue to buy into Clemson being over Notre Dame, which I disagree with, but that's okay. I moved Notre Dame up two this week. I'm, I'm That makes me feel good that I'm not on this island alone, but – the reason I moved them to number two is I have Georgia at number three. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I have a bad feeling this man right here makes about smile. Alabama this year. The Tua injuries are frightening. I have seen what Georgia does in revenge spots. They lost the national championship last year on a last-second thing. Their offensive line looks insanely better. What's the guy's name? Ben Cleveland? Yep. He's back. That dude's a stud. Um, Guys, they, they they are running the football like madmen right now. Their defense looks outstanding. What Mississippi State did to Alabama gave Georgia a blueprint for how they can slow down that offense. Well, I mean LSU I, did the same thing too. I agreed. Defensively, um, but but LSU was not like LSU had to manufacture. Score. They just couldn't score. Well, they well they couldn't score, but they had to manufacture pressure on Tua. Mississippi State didn't have to do that. Well, they were able and to do it with four. But the, yeah. their front four are all four NFL guys. Yeah. And they're upperclassmen, too. And they know fresh. Now, Georgia doesn't have a whole lot of, you know, the upperclassmen, that kind of thing. They 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 got a bunch of babies. But they got dudes. But they got dudes. Oh, those, don't, don't call them babies. Well, I'm, I'm saying babies as far as freshmen and sophomores, right? Like, they, but they, they dudes. They, they some real dudes. And I Man, just I what get a, the, what a call. I get the feeling that Georgia is going to beat Alabama. Got Georgia at three because I, I I don't think to, like if Tua was healthy, I think this would be completely different. I don't think what Tua is going through like his problem is with his plant leg. Yep, you, balls are going high like Im- immediately after he gets sacked and he's and he's favoring his knee and he's whatever the next play he looks he like comes he out can't put pressure on him. and he throws a pick yep. like to a linebacker. Yep, like it's there is a problem here and. I mean, we could see some problems against Auburn. Like, it, th- I don't think the Auburn game is going to be a blowout by any means. Um, but yeah, I, I've got Georgia at three. I think Georgia is going to beat Alabama in the in the All SEC right. championship game. So, so this is mine is boring because mine is the same. I got Clemson two. I got Bama one. This is what I think the committee is going to. What in the hell happens with yours? I got Clemson one. I got Clemson one. So who's one. two? Number two, Notre Dame. No Dame. Then three Georgia wow. and four Michigan. So you got Clemson against Michigan, which I think would be a fun matchup. I, Notre Dame against Georgia, which I think would be a fun matchup. I would take this college playoff because I really think any team could win it. Oh, I agree. If we get what you have and you somehow take Alabama out of it, I really do believe. When, here's could, the deal: if you I, put Alabama in and you give uh, Tua a month to get yeah, healthy, no, it's over. Then I think no, it's over. I they, think it's done. They could be a four seed, and it doesn't matter. They're gonna they're gonna beat the hell out of everybody. Which makes me wonder if, like, it, and I, I am of the opinion that they will put Michigan in if Michigan wins the Big Ten. See, this is where I, we disagree. What gets, what gets crazy 
is if Alabama loses the SEC championship game and then Ohio State beats Michigan. Yeah. Do you put Ohio State in you, over Bama? Do you put a one-loss Ohio State Big Ten champion? And I think they do because Michigan is so highly rated and Ohio State's last impression would be, it, you know, it, it, whatever with Northwestern, but, you know, last impression beating a, a top four Michigan team. So at that point, like, I mean, it gets a little crazy at that point, but yeah, I, I, I think Clemson, Michigan would be fun. Notre Dame, Georgia would be fun at that point. It, it's literally anybody's ball game. That's that's the playoff I want more than it, it's not a knock against Alabama. Well, the playoff you want includes Washington State and in Central Florida. <laughs> no, you're right about that. Look, let give give me a pit in a Northwestern upset. And, and 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 Georgia beating Alabama, and, and then let's just go crazy. And Auburn and Georgia both beating Alabama to take them completely out of this thing. And now, now I got a playoff. I want Mike Leach. If Mike Leach was able to to coach in two playoff games, oh, it's God. only good for the world. No, I, I agree. I with mean, that. it makes the world a better place. I do agree with that. I do agree with that. <laughs> Guys, so great. Whew. All right. So, uh, so to recap, I've got Michigan, Georgia, Notre Dame, Clemson. And I'm, I've got Michigan, Notre Dame, Clemson, Bama. I'm the boring one here, which is you made I, me smile. You know, like I wanted to be the boring one, obviously. You made me smile. Like for those that don't know, like I am. So I'm the Alabama fan. He's the LSU fan. Uh, but I, I I see the writing on the wall with this Bama team. Like they have been uh, put on this pedestal for so long. Because you just, but but you really are that. And, I mean, two is that good. But and and he is when he's healthy. So hang on, let's let's take like we've gone really long. If you're stuck with the podcast, and and this is a pretty short video, let me ask you a question. Alabama has never been the team that was dependent on one player. Like you got like five, six deep at every position. Oh, I'm not another. saying that Georgia would like blow them out. No, no, but but the fact that Tua matters so much to where they're a two touchdown favorite over everybody, but without him, I mean they they could get beat by an Auburn and a Georgia. But they could also beat an Auburn. Oh, no, Georgia. they absolutely well, no, here's, could win here's the either other of those games. This. Also, Jalen Hurts also he ain't has, no punk. No, he's a good. He's he, he's won like thirty something games in college football. Yeah, but he's he's at like forty or fifty oh, percent right now. Oh no, if he can't play, that's the deal. Like he had a high ankle sprain in the fourth quarter yeah. against Tennessee. I remember, he couldn't play against. He the had LSU to have game. surgery. Yeah, and after he had surgery, came back. Still is walking yeah, with a limp. Yeah, he, he so, couldn't move at all. And LSU. and if you are counting on Jalen Hurts to just sit back there and throw the football, oh, no, no they they it could be that, anybody. They exactly. will lose the Auburn game. And so I mean, if you end up with a like you're playing against Georgia with like Mac Jones, oh no, like and That's you know what's a, funny, like Gardner Minshew. I would disagree with you on that. Then if you say Alabama without Tua, no. If Matt Jones is a quarterback against a team like Georgia that's well prepared, yeah, well they coached, they will be and they're fully healthy. They will no, get they, smoked. They, I, I do think that. Well, they might not get smoked. I don't think that's a game Alabama can win, though. Like I wouldn't put a money line bet on Bama. No, I, I agree with that. And as a matter of fact, like without Tua or Jalen, yeah, that's. I, I think now Georgia, we're having a different I think Georgia would be favored. Yeah. Oh no. I oh. And so, no, there's no doubt. Uh, but uh, the funny thing I was talking about is Gardner Minshew at Washington State, who is like on everybody's Heisman list, and da 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 da. And rightfully so, by the way. Rightfully so. My guy. He was supposed to be your fourth stringer at Alabama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like he had already committed. He was already going to Tuscaloosa. He and made then the gets right a call decision. From he he gets, absolutely made the right that decision. That man's going to go to a New Year's Six Bowl, probably the Rose Bowl, and he's probably going to go to New York. It, it, how crazy is it, though, that Alabama's quarterback room was going to include, yeah. like, those three but guys? But nobody knew Minshew was going to be what he is. And I don't know that he's that in Alabama. I think that's a lot of you've got maybe one of the best guys to coach your quarterback I agree. that you could give your son to or a guy could go to and say, hey, I want to learn to play quarterback. Agreed. Like, hey, Agreed. my name's Mike Leach, and I know everything about I, I know offense. all about Air Raid, yeah. and your son is really good at Air Raid. Yeah. We're going to make him accurate at throwing yeah. football. Um, yeah. That was awesome. That did works out pretty well. That makes all right, smile. so that was our playoff prediction for college football after week 11. Go to TunicaTravel.com. Tunica, Mississippi is a sponsor of the show. We thank them. We appreciate We do it. appreciate them. Uh, WinningCuresEverything.com is our site. Go over there. Check out all the stuff that you need to. Get in on the football picks contest on Tuesdays. 
Uh, I think it's gone up on Wednesday morning the last couple of weeks. Yeah. But we're going to try and get it on Tuesday. I, I've been a little no. a little swamped. No, you do a great job um, over there. You put a lot of But, yeah, so go, go check those things out. We will catch you guys later on this week. Sweet. That worked out pretty well. Yeah, it's good.